Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, adjustment layers or transparent video? Which one do I use? If you've ever poked around with those two, transparent video or adjustment layers, you'll know that sometimes things work and sometimes they don't. And sometimes I forget and I've got to try a few of them. And you can third throw a third one in there and that's black video. Let's go have a look. So let's say that I want to create something from the effects controls in Generate. So this is things like the four color gradient or a checkerboard or um, the grid. Well. Obviously, if you take something like the grid and drop it on a video, you'll lose the video. I want the grid to appear above the video. So for that, click down here in the new item icon. And anytime you're creating something, you choose transparent video. And we're going to make it the size of our video. Click OK. It shows up over there. When I drag it over top, nothing happens because it is transparent. In fact, if I double click on this, Go to my little wrench in the source, turn on the transparency grid, you'll see, in fact, it is transparent. There's nothing there. Okay, so now if we go to our effects and take the grid and drop it on, we have a grid over top and we can change our values for the grid. Okay, that makes sense. Well, I'll, I'll look at lens flare. Lens flare is in the generate folder. Wouldn't that be one of those same things? Well. Let me turn off the grid here for a second and let's double click on the lens flare. We'll see no lens flare. If we take the grid and take the lens flare and let's make the grid a different color, now you'll see the lens flare is inside the grid. So not everything in the generate menu um, works with a transparent layer of video. Just due to compositing rules, the, the lens flare, which is an old effect from Photoshop, but it's, it's the same thing, it can't float on its own layer. It needs to be on something. Well, for that, we're going to use black video. So back over to the project, back over to here, and choose black video. We could actually use anything. The reason we're using black video is to keep it on its own layer. So let me put that here. Let me go to my effects, and let's double click on lens flare, move over here, and now we've got the lens flare hiding everything below it. But here we can use the opacity to change this value and change this to something like overlay or screen, which is very typical. Uh, so now it's over top. But if we actually apply the lens flare to here, we can get it. So lens flare is one of those. So if we click on here, now I'm moving that lens flare point. So lens flare is a little bit more um, powerful in that it's a transparent effect that can go directly on the video without hiding the video. Okay, so let's get rid of our lens flare effect. And what if we added something like a ramp? Can the ramp go on top? No, it hides everything. So this, can we put a ramp on transparent video? So let me get rid of the grid and the lens flare and try the ramp on transparent video. Does that work? No, it doesn't. That would be the job for black video. Now when I go back to my effects, ramp. Now we've got the ramp on top of it on its own layer, which has its own transparency that we could change any value and blend that in. So that's black video over top of that. Let's go back over to transparent video. And what about the four color gradient? Nope. That's another one that requires something to be there. Four color gradient. Now it's there. What about the checkerboard pattern? Back over to transparent video. Checkerboard. Yes, it works. And you can see the value uh, when I raise that up, it's transparent in behind there. And a circle, does that work? Yep. What about an ellipse? Yep, that's that little ellipse right there. Uh, eyedropper fill? Yep. Um, 
Lightning, good old friend Lightning. Sure, that works with transparent video. Does it also work with black video? Well, it does, and then we would have to change the blend mode. So we would probably put that one on transparent video. Paint bucket, yep, works. The ramp, as I showed you, didn't right on. I have another tutorial where you want to stay away from right on in um, Premiere Pro. Okay, so now when do we use the adjustment layer? So back in the same new item, create an adjustment layer, make it the size of our video, drag that on. Now if we're adding anything that changes the underlying video, like fast blur. So now with fast blur on that video, it's on the adjustment layer and the adjustment layer has its own level too. So if I take this up and drag it over top of the whole thing, now that blur is going to affect all of the layers and that value can be changed. That's live. So anytime I want to create something that will affect or, or change anything that will affect anything below it, um, I would use that. So back in my video effects. Now distortion doesn't always work so you can't use that on all of the, the effects below it but uh, any of the other kinds of uh, image controls black and white. Here's one very typical one layer and everything is black and white. So I have to admit that sometimes I forget which one. Is it transparent, is it an adjustment layer, or is it black video uh, before I apply an effect. But between those three, everything is covered. And now you know when to use uh, adjustment layers or transparent video or black video. All right, Whew. hopefully you found this informative. If you did, then please click on the subscribe button to video revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a link in the description for you to get your free 30-day trial. Till next time. I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best.